I'm here with the man, Mr. Brian, man. Talk to who, tell, tell the people who you are, man, what you do. What's up, everyone? I'm Brian De Los Santos. I'm the host of How to LA, a podcast about everything in LA, including food, which we're gonna try today. We're here at Coffee Company, and hopefully Alex loves a spicy chicken sausage sandwich, which is why we're here to try things out with Try Guy LA. Yeah, man, hold on, the spicy chicken sausage sandwich. Now, I done seen a lot of y'all comment this place, in my comic session, they go to the coffee company and spicy chicken sausage. I've had it one time before, but it wasn't of the spicy variety, you know what I'm saying? So I'm excited to be here. I'm trying to see what's going on, man. Thank you for I'm, I'm you. glad you're trying something with me. Yeah, no, of course, of course. You know I gotta keep it real though for the for the audience that got to know if it's certified or not. You highlight so much of LA that people wanna do or wanna try. How do you kinda do it? How, how you do how do you do it? Yeah, I, I don't know. I tell everybody, like, I'm not from here, bro. Like, I literally, I came here in 2020. I started doing content last year. And I started going to places that, you know, I grew up, like, eating those types of food. So I was looking for, like, you know, fried chicken and catfish and oxtail and all that kind of stuff. You know, I didn't know the areas that I was going to. But now when I go down there, you know, those are communities that were kind of starved for content. There were no influencers going down to South LA and Compton and all these different places, man. And, but me, I didn't even know where I was. I was just going to get some good food. You know, I get the comment all the time, like, man, you risking your life for a piece of chicken, man. You risking your life for a burger, but dude, it's all love everywhere. It's nothing but good people. It's been dope, man. I love LA. So essentially you went from hobby to like an actual job. When someone's like thinking about doing this for their actual money income, what would you tell them? Like, oh, this is some, some of the things that you should think about when you're doing this, uh, yeah, this play of like, I want to highlight restaurants and food, but I also want to get some income. What would you tell them? Man, I'd say create, I call it like, create as many arms of revenue as possible, man. Like, there's people who want to pay me, obviously, to bring business to their restaurants. There's ways to make money just on Google Ads, since like the views on YouTube. You can make money from the views on TikTok. You can sell ads on your YouTube channel. You can do brand deals with companies. Like, I do everything, man. I've been making money with content since I had 5,000 followers, man. And, you know, we just hit 500K on YouTube literally like a day ago, you know, thank you guys so much for that. You know, I'm at like 170 something on IG, so I still really consider myself like small time, but I've been monetizing this thing since I had like 5,000 followers, man. But that's the background I come from. Everybody doesn't come from a sales background like me. Yeah. yeah. I feel like there, before we get to the food, one more question. I feel like there is uh, a lot of, you get a lot of comments, a lot of reactions. So how do you choose a place, people are gonna ask you, how do you choose the places when you have like someone saying, no, this is the best catfish, no, this is the best taco here. <laughs> like, how do you decipher all of that and be like, nah, I'm gonna do this? Yeah, nah, first I'll tell you this, man. Everybody in LA think they got the best catfish, the best fries, they got the best this and that, man. Restaurant owners are some of the most, um, uh, what do you call it? Like, they're really hyped up about their baby because this thing is their baby, man. So I do find enjoyment in, um, you know, highlighting these people's like, you know, the restaurants like their children. I'm like highlighting like their baby, you know, which is really cool. I say, I go to a lot of places that I like, uh, or just like if I see something online real quick and it looks good, I'm like, yo, let's go there. Like a lot of times I don't even like, like I'll show up like randomly. Like I, I won't even like schedule it or anything just because like, number one, I don't want to deal with the hassle of just like scheduling something with like the owner. I just like to come mm -hmm. like everybody else, mm -hmm. do my thing, we get in, we get out. You know, I never, you'll never see me do reviews like in my car or anything because I like actually being at the restaurant like this. So if I came here without you today, I would still sit down and like eat. We still have the camera. We still be talking to people. Like I love just being out in the community, man. That's what really gives me joy. You ready to grab? Let's grab, man. I see they sitting over there okay, with the sandwiches right now. You know, they're like, man, where y'all gonna stop talking, Damn. man? Where the, where the chicken sausage? Maybe you have tried it somewhere else, but I don't really think so because I have no problem with ever before. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, these are not big sandwiches. Thing? I don't know what this orange slice is, though. What is this for? Like, no, no, that's for later. That's for oh, later. Oh, this is like a palate nothing, cleanser? No, it's a palate cleanser is? at the end. <laughs> My thing is I like to add a little bit of Cholula and and uh, ketchup and that's your thing. It's already, it's not too spicy, I will say. Yeah, the, yeah. the sausage is not too spicy, but if you want to do those things, 
be my guest. No, 100%. No, um, I, I trust this guy already with the Cholula. You know, y'all know I like hot sauce on everything. <laughs> yeah, this look like it needs some hot sauce or something. Look at look at that thing, dog. I know my cousin sitting over there right now like, man, what the... <laughs> Let me get some of that. Cheers, bro. Cheers, man. Of course. <laughs> Oh yeah, wait a minute. That chicken sausage is special, man. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> that chicken sausage is special. That's a that's a game changer, dog. What is it? What is it about the chicken sausage that's giving you the, the that first reaction? Off, first off, excuse me. Let me let me chew my food. People always comment like, "Yo, chew your food, swallow before you start talking." <laughs> I have manners. Okay. Nice pop from the sausage. Like literally, as soon as you bite into it, you get that that pop right there. Great. Mm -hmm. I love how they charred it. It's got a nice little char on it. Seasoned very well. That's a solid sausage. You wouldn't even know that's chicken, man. Right. You know, I feel I feel a little bit better about myself for eating this. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? The eggs cook perfectly. Very soft. The bun's cool. But I think everything works well together, man. I'm still trying to figure out what the orange is for, though, man. All right, man, look. This chicken sausage was pretty fire, dog. I appreciate you for bringing me on. Of course. But you know my place. You know I'm about to take him somewhere. It's going to blow you out of the water, dog. It's about to be crazy, dog. It's called right. Hungry Joe's. Okay. You know, I first went there with NBA player Paul Pierce. He hit me up. I was like, yo, bro, you got to go to Hungry Joe's. So we went there together. And no lie, it was fire. All right. All right. And what are we, we having there? We're gonna have the oxtail. We gotta okay. have the oxtail. Right. You gotta have the oxtail. Right. Bumba clap. You gotta have the oxtail. <laughs> Bumba clap. I got my boy out here, you know. I had to put him on to the Hungry Joe's, man. If y'all know, you know. If you haven't tried Hungry Joe's, you definitely gotta get up out here, man. I'm about to change this guy's life real quick. I'm about to change his taste buds for the better. <laughs> I got us two oxtail plates. You know, huh? Let me get in here real quick. Boom. All right. Hold on. Yes, Whoa, sir. Oh, the steam. That's the move right there. You know what I mean? Look at that. The Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. That's yours. You take that. Wow. Okay. Okay. Now I'll take my own here. Have a seat. Have a seat, my mm -hmm. guy. Mm -hmm. All right. Plantains. Right. So presentation wise, how, how's it looking for you? Uh, already. Like the, the umo, what is it called? The steam? Uh huh. Uh, this looks really rich. I love me some plantains. This rice looks like it's going to give. It is, and the, the best part about this is the gravy, man. Their gravy is absolutely insane. It's like crack, you know what I mean? It's like it's like liquid gold, bro. It's insane, okay. All so right. look, I'm gonna just let you get into it, man. Right. You know, give, give a little out. taste. Get one with me. Like, mm, right off the bone. <laughs> right off the bone. Talk to him, man. Talk mm. to him. I don't want to influence your decision. No, I, I need a whole, a whole mm -hmm. um, bite. Mm. It's so tender and juicy. And the gravy, the everything that's it's dipped in. God, you can make tacos out of this. <laughs> Straight up. A, 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 a sandwich is just so good. The best oxtail I've ever had is my friend Trey. He made it uh -huh. once over. I was sick. He's like. Have some oxtail, you'll feel better. I did feel better. This tastes like home cooking. Yeah. And that's what I love about restaurants that are like mom and pops. So perfect, perfect. They don't sacrifice on the quality, man. And that's that's one thing I love. That's why I go to so many of them, man. It's like going to places like this, these are literal, you know, families back here in the kitchen, like cooking this stuff up. You know what I mean? I really love that about LA, you know? I, I'm able to experience so many different cultures out here, man. Mm. Different cultures and cuisine types, man. Stuff that I've never tried before mm. I came to this city, man. And that's why LA is always gonna have a special place in my heart, bro, seriously. Now get some hot sauce right there. Oh, get some hot sauce. That's some hot sauce on it, man. That's some hot, hot sauce on it, dog. Oh, you, you had a little <laughs> secret ingredient, huh? <laughs> Ooh, you smell yeah. it. It's already. It's a little spicy now, I will say. It's a little I'm spicy. I'm just gonna try just a little bit, just because you, just cause you, you told me, you know? Yeah, I don't know how, I don't know your spice threshold. I, I'm, I'm, I may be Mexican, but I'm not a super <laughs> spicy person, you know? Mm. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this one though, just cause, just cause Alex said so. Mm. Slide all the way. Certified, mm. 30 out of 10. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Are you the guy that go around and taste all LA? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, Yo, this is good. I put hot sauce on everything, bro. And and how, what was the damage on, on each plate? 
Oh. Cost wise. I forgot. Wait. Yeah, 21 bucks per plate. This is like a good um, lunch and dinner. It's a lot of food though, man. Yeah, this yeah, is a yeah. huge portion, you yeah. know? The beef patties are four bucks each. And then that's what you're about to try next, the beef patty. And that's what's up. Uh, what is, when you came here uh, with, was it Phil? Paul. Paul, with yeah. Paul, what, what made you go, ah? Like what was the thing that, was it the, the oxtail or was it? Was it was the gravy, man. I'm telling you, it's the, it's the gravy that really did it for me, dog. Like, you know, I get a lot of oxtail from everywhere, man. Yeah. But that gravy is gonna make or break your 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 stew, you know what I mean? Oh, um, and it was it was the gravy that did it for me, dog. And they have just some of the best gravy in the game, man. And by the way, you just got that beef patty out. Look at this bag, by the way. You see how greasy this bag is? That's how the bag needs to look, you know, oh. when you come to a place like we're, this. We're about to do cardio tonight, honey. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to do cardio. Straight up. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I, th I think this is my favorite one. I'm sorry. I love I love the oxo, but this is just uh, this is a good snack. It is, man. It is. Now these at 4 a.m. after a long night, mm. <laughs> they'll get you there. This patty situation, I think my favorite thing about it is you know obviously it's got a nice flaky crust on the outside, like the edges are kind of crispy, but the middle is like really gooey, very doughy. Mm -hmm. I love the juxtaposition between the textures, and then. The, the beef mixture itself. I don't know, dude, it reminds me of like, I guess when you go to like a Mexican place, there's like the, the beans and the meat, is, it has like a specific like texture, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of giving me that, but like yeah, Jamaican, yeah. obviously. Yeah, uh, sure. Caribbean. Um, seasoned very well. It's not like overly seasoned or anything. Everything works really well together. It's a solid patty, man. And LA, a lot of places sell patties, bro. And they're always sold out, man. They always sold out like at like noon. This place is never sold out, you know, which which I love that. I don't know why, like, a lot of places are sold. It's like, yo, like, they don't want to make enough patties for the city or something, man. Just trying to gatekeep patties over here. But no, nah, this place is never sold out, man. So that's why I love them. The quality of the food is always going to be my favorite thing to highlight in a, at a place. Whether you're a street vendor or you are a fancy restaurant, I think the quality of the food is what m speaks for itself. So definitely, I would give it a 9 out of 10 because it's just, just so delicious. I agree. It's so good. I agree, man. As you can tell Alex, too, you are not afraid of giving hot, hot review takes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't buy my tongue. <laughs> like 9 out of 10 is not a bad review. That is, yeah. That's amazing. I God before, like, this I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like that. It was too cold or whatever. But I, I think when people make it with warmth in their hearts, they... It shows, and I think this plate shows it. I didn't live too far away from here in Westchester, 10 minute ride. Inglewood, you know, iconic city. We're here now. We're having some good uh, Caribbean food. And who knows, maybe I'll invite someone else next time. Glad to hear that, man. I, hey, I can trust you, man. Yeah, and the up? people can trust you too. Well, follow the podcast, How to LA. Definitely give these guys a follow. Watch everything, listen to everything, do it all, man. And let me know, where should I go next?